Welcome to Dallas Grown Greenhouse, a hydroponic demonstration greenhouse in Dallas, Texas, sponsored by Hort Americas. Today we're going to go over how to build an organic hydroponic nutrient solution using Hort Americas organic hydroponic fertilizer and Terabella inoculant. The, the process I'm going to go over today is specific to growers using city water that is chlorinated. Other growers who are using reverse osmosis water or distilled or well water can speed up this process. Start by filling up your five gallon bucket to prepare the inoculate. Then add one ounce of organic molasses. And mix it in real nice. Then you're gonna let the bucket sit for 24 hours so the chlorine can gas off. On day two, you wanna fill up your reservoir. You also wanna add Terabella to the five gallon bucket. You're gonna add two ounces to the five gallons. After another 24 hours, your inoculant will be ready to use and the chlorine will degas from your reservoir. On day three, you're ready to start building the reservoir. You're gonna add Hort America's organic hydroponic fertilizer until your EC is one above the source EC. In my case, my source EC measures 0.3, so I'm adding Terragenesis until it's 1.3. Generally, this is going to require about an ounce per gallon. After adding the organic hydroponic fertilizer, you're going to add the inoculant. The inoculant is added at a rate of one gallon inoculant to 60 gallons of nutrient solution. So this five gallons of inoculant will inoculatize 300 gallons of nutrient solution. I have a 20 gallon reservoir, so I'm gonna use one third a gallon. For aerating your reservoir, we recommend using a Venturi pump. This is a pump with a Venturi attachment that will draw in air and circulate your tank. It's a lot cleaner than using an air pump and air diffusers. To maintain this reservoir, you wanna add water as water is lost through evapotranspiration. Then add more fertilizer to keep your EC at your target EC, which for me is 1.3. With this fertilizer, you do not need to adjust the pH. It's really easy to use. And if you keep your tank free of debris and you regularly inoculate, you can dramatically reduce the frequency of flushes. I've seen organic hydroponic reservoirs go for about five months without being flushed. For more information on our organic hydroponic fertilizer, or for tips on how to set up a organic hydroponic system, contact us, send us any of your questions, and thanks for watching.